Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Just Plain Fun, and I am your host, MJ. And I'm so glad you're here. I have not been this excited about a new video since Adam Sandler released Just Go With It. So, as you can see before you, this is the unboxing. This is the first hand plane that I'm going to be auctioning off for the Can I Have It Wounded Waters 2021 Veterans Day auction coming up in November. So if you're not in the Can I Have It auction on the Can I Have It auction page, get in there and get ready because this is going to be a blast. This is going to be awesome. And what I'm about to unbox are these four boxes. These parts have been spread to the four winds all over the country. And I got them all back here and I'm fixing to show them to you. But before I do, I'm just going to go ahead and give a shout out to Eric O'Gray. He did the body and the frog. That's what you're going to see first. And then Richard Fay, who did the lever cap. And then Adamo up in Connecticut knocked out the uh, the irons for us on for this plane and uh, a couple others. And then Mark Connolly, huge shout out to him down in Australia because he actually funded some of these parts and covered all the shipping. And will continue to cover shipping on other stuff that's being worked on. And then Michael Klein, huge shout out to him because... He did something fantastic with it or with some um, special wood that I'm going to tell you all more about at a later date. And then speaking of that special wood, I got a, a an anonymous Navy chief petty officer from the south side down there in the in the Norfolk area who donated that wood. And so more to follow on that. But I can't thank these guys enough. And there have been some other folks behind the scenes, some other folks that are working on other planes and other projects for this auction. And I, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it and I'm excited and I hope you all are too. Let's go ahead and dive right in, show y'all what this body is going to look like. And while I'm opening this, so this is a wartime number five, so a type 17 for those of you that are familiar with types. And I thought that that was rather appropriate considering that it's for the Veterans Day auction and we're raising money for Wounded Waters. I think we're going to blow last year's total out of the water. It's not even going to be close. Is that blinding y'all? So once again, huge shout out to Eric O'Gray for taking on this project and having an incredibly quick turn on it. Sent it right back to me, which was awesome. My only fear is it's been sitting for a little while. It's been sitting for, I guess, a few weeks now. So hopefully the humidity here on the East Coast didn't get to it. Probably not. Hmm, this is just like Christmas. I have a feeling there's gonna be quite a few folks that are gonna wanna get their hands on this plane. So I picked this one up. I don't even remember where. I buy so many planes, I can't keep track of them all. And it was actually still in the box, but the box is in just terrible, terrible condition. I'll probably go ahead and send it to the buyer, but it's hardly worth even having because it's so bad. But the great thing about a box plane is the majority of the time, the Japaning on it is in just great condition. And as you can see, it was absolutely the case here. I'm sure Eric did, you know, put a little time polishing up what's there. But as you can see, Whew, I already got fingerprints. Sorry about that, Eric. I'll wipe those off, I promise. Just a fantastic job on that. So what a start, what a start for this old 1940s era. Number five, this is going to be one that the buyer will be able to sit on a shelf and look at it, tell his or her friends about it when they come over about the history of it, the significance of it, or, well, and or, they'll be able to pull it down off of the shelf and use it. It's going to have a razor sharp iron on it. And with that nice polishing job, you know, that's going to act as a natural deterrent for any kind of rust or corrosion. So there we go with an absolutely stunning frog that's been expertly cleaned up i guess i better go ahead and dig out these other parts this other hardware so we'll be back in two shakes i hope you all enjoyed that little commercial break 
brought to you by our sponsors. Uh, just kidding. I guess uh, the closest thing we have to a sponsor would be Mark Connolly, because as I mentioned during the intro, he was the one who uh, <clears throat> who bankrolled the shipping on this and continues to bankroll the shipping as I'm continuing to send more and more parts for the other planes that we've got going on. And I guess I can go ahead and mention Greg Ricketts up there in Northern Virginia has taken on the rejapanning of a Type 11. Naturally, you know I have to auction off a Type 11. Number four, that actually used to be my personal user, but I've since acquired a uh, Lee Nielsen number four, and so I'm going ahead and I'm passing on my Type 11 to its, ne to its next owner, but not without getting a little work done on it first. So here we go. We'll shout out to Richard Fay for doing a nice shine on this one. And the camera's doing a pretty good job of hiding it. This is kind of one of those things I was afraid of. It's the one I've had back the longest. We've got some little tiny itty bitty spots there. But no worries. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. And uh, we'll put a little coat of wax or oil on there and keep that from happening. But that does, just like the body, I mean, that just looks absolutely stunning. Love to see it. And hey, if shiny tools are not your thing and you're not into that, no worries. No harm, no foul. Um, as a matter of fact, I will be auctioning off other planes that will have more of a natural look, more of a natural patina. But look at that. We got a body. We got a frog. We've got a lever cap. Looks like we need an iron for this bad boy. And as y'all can see, we've got more surprises coming, not just in this video, but in general. By the time this plane gets put up for auction, I've got a couple more tricks up my sleeve that y'all are going to see. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video out. I want to get this plane back together, this video out, because this is going to serve as an advertisement for the auction between now and then. I probably want to be the only person that does this, but this will be one of the advertisements for the auction so that we can get maximum exposure and get as many people as possible in there bidding, buying, but also selling because that's important. And if I haven't already mentioned it, 100% of the proceeds from the sale of this plane and all the planes that I auctioned off in November, 100% of the proceeds will go to Wounded Waters, which is an organization based down in Florida where they're taking care of veterans and also first responders. And they're doing a great job of taking care of folks, getting them out on the water and getting them away, uh, giving them a chance to, to decompress and get away from the hustle and bustle of it all and a chance to talk to folks. But back to this plane. So Adamo up in Connecticut is the one who took care of sharpening these irons. And as you can see, this is not just the iron for this Type 17. These are also some irons for some other planes, some for auction, and then some that, that Adamo and I worked out a deal and he just sharpened some for me that are not gonna be in, uh, associated with the auction and that's okay. But there are at least a couple, couple three irons here that will be part of the auction. And we're gonna see if we can get this thing open. That guy's a great packer, I'll tell you what. A great packer. He can't be a Packers fan. Not even from Wisconsin. Whew. Is that saran wrap, Adamo? No, it can't be that one. That one's too old. Can't be that one. That's a V logo. So it must be one of these. I'm starting to rethink my choices here. Like maybe I should have uh, opened this ahead of time. But it'll be all right. I hope y'all are sticking with me here. I'm thinking that this is the one. And there we go. Once again, got, you know, this little tiny spot that's normal. It's been sitting, it's been packaged up. But we're going to get a little, a little juice on that and we'll get that taken care of. No biggie. But that one is one heck of a nice job it's one heck of a nice uh sharpening a nice flat iron 
got it going on there. And I think to close this video out, I hadn't really thought this far ahead when I started, but I think to close this out, I think I might have to take a shaving or two with this thing. What do y'all think? Just to do a little ops check, a little operations check. So that is the iron right there and the chip breaker. And as y'all can see, it is just a perfect match, a perfect fit, and very complimentary to the other things that we have going on here. I might need to adjust that screw a little bit, huh? And now, the only thing we need is some furniture for this little Type 17. While I'm opening this one, I'll go ahead and give you all a little teaser. I'm not going to tell you the whole story yet, just because the story is still developing. Our chief petty officer down there who's stationed, he's active duty Navy, stationed down in the Norfolk area. He actually has some very special wood that he acquired from a source to be named later, but I'll just take my word for it that it's some special wood from a special place. And he stepped up, he volunteered to donate it to the cause, and he sent it up to Michael Klein. And if y'all don't know Michael Klein, he is one of the best, if not the best, maker, producer of aftermarket totes around and i'm opening this slowly because i'm make sure i open the right one this one right here i'm going to show on a on another video that's going to be for a different plane thank goodness y'all are patient so here we go with some of that wood and as i mentioned it's got some special origins from can i go ahead and put this out there it's from an actual navy ship more to follow on that, but it's from some stairs, and it's teak. So that's kind of cool. And like I said, more to follow on that. It's a little, little teaser for you. And there we go. The nice, beautiful tote or handle. So let's go ahead and get this thing put the rest of the way together. And we'll see what it looks like. There she blows. Ladies and gentlemen, that is truly a one of a kind right there. And I would say there will never be another, but there's always next year. Might have to bust out, might have to even top it and do something even crazier. But the best thing about it is this is not even it. This is not even done yet. I've still got another trick or two up my sleeve that I'm going to save for as we get closer to the auction and maybe even announce during the auction. But right now, again, just wanted to go ahead and get this out there so that we can start hyping the set so we can start getting more folks involved, getting more folks, you know, set some money aside because I guarantee there's going to be some stuff in this auction that you're going to want to buy. And hopefully this is one of them. So there you go, a little number five, type 17. And I guess you could say custom made and truly a community project lots of hands in it and i can't thank those folks enough who stepped up and volunteered to help out with it so y'all are awesome i guess we're about to find out if adamo can sharpen a blade or not but then again if it doesn't work he'll probably just say it was my fault he'll say i can't set up a plane so let's find out if this old type 17 can actually do what it was originally designed to do I'm going to let y'all be the judge and jury. I don't know. What do y'all think? If old uh, Adamo earned his keep on this one or not. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to let y'all decide. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. Like I said from the beginning, or at the beginning, you know, I'm super stoked about this. I've been wanting to get this video out there. And get some eyeballs on this plane and you know more to follow more planes to follow hopefully more more advertisements more hype we want to get this in front of as many eyeballs as possible so we can get as many folks involved in the auction as as, as we can but november 8th through 11th is going to be donations you can just directly donate to the you know wounded waters if that's what you want to do you know you didn't have to buy anything or sell anything or you can do your buy it nows so for that whole week from november 8th through the 11th 
And then from the 12th through the 14th is going to be the auction itself. So, of course, the 11th is Veterans Day. That's a Thursday. And then from the 12th through the 14th is going to be the auction itself. This particular plane will go up on Friday night. It will have a starting bid of $1. And, you know, obviously with this and all the other auctions, we want to raise as much money as possible for Wounded Waters. Uh, we, they haven't set a goal yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be a lofty one. And I, and I think we're going to we're going to smash it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for helping get the word out about the auction. And I look forward to seeing y'all out and about.